So much to talk about in the fold-out chair with this man, Sean Timmons. Welcome to the program. Vossi, happy to be here. I'm there happy is. with the chair. I, I love it when we have former Illawarra Steelers, because we don't get to say it often. Um, you look back on those times, because you came through, and, and the Illawarra Steelers had been around since 1982, so you grew up a Steelers fan, did you? Yeah, I grew up, obviously, in the Illawarra. I grew up uh, in Kiama, born and bred, so come through uh, as a young kid, was a massive footy fan. I was actually a Bulldog supporter. There you go. When we were growing up, Terry Lamb was my favourite player, but uh, as I got a bit older, I did support the, dra uh, the Steelers, sorry. Yep. Uh, looked up to guys like Mary, and Rod Wishart, and Johnny Simon, John Cross, and so I really used to go to the hill, sit on the hill over there and watch them. So, as I said, the older I got, then I started playing a little bit of junior reps yeah. uh, for the Steelers. So, I um, was fortunate enough to make my debut for the Steelers, well, yeah. Two parts of the club career. There's the Illawarra Steelers, then there's the St George Illawarra Dragons. Um, with the Steelers, when it came to be that they were no more a single entity, as someone who grew up in the area, was that a, a, a good time or a, or a disappointing time? Oh, it was a pretty sad time. Obviously, a lot of our mates, because I think both clubs, obviously, that was the whole Super League war, and we knew that uh, the club could only pick a certain amount to merge with St George, so that was sad. I was happy. I, I, was, I, was, I was obviously picked to be part of the, the merger, but a lot of our mates got moved on and went overseas, played for different clubs, so that was uh, sad, losing some of our mates, especially a lot of us were all local guys. We all played uh, local footy. We played junior reps together, so it was sad seeing some of that happen, but at the end of the day, I suppose it had to happen, and it, it worked out sort of a perfect a perfect uh, marriage. But, yeah, it was sad seeing some of your, your mates have to move on. You knew that when we invited you to come on the fan that we were going to ask you about a specific moment with the Illawarra Steelers from the 1997 season. Yeah, I knew something was coming. <laughs> something to do with a goal kick. Goal I knew kicking. something I knew Wait, something would get bought up. There was a game I was calling on a Saturday afternoon at North Sydney Oval in 1997. Illawarra versus the Bears. Brendan Horville on debut scores for Illawarra to level up 18 all right in front of the sticks, basically. Yep. What happened next? I'm still trying to work that out. Right. That, well, obviously, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty good game, actually. We, yes. we fought back, we scored a nice try. I think Mary and Trent done something down the right-hand side. Uh, passed it inside to Brendan Horville. He went and scored probably about that far next to the post, not yes. right under the post, so I was a bit dirty on that. But before that, Rod Wishart had dislocated his shoulder and gone off, so I was the backup kicker. Although it is my chance to be, I don't know, a hero, win the game. And yep. Anyway, I lined up for the kick, but I still blame it a little bit to these days. So when I used to kick, I used to still get the sand back then, the wet sand. I used to like putting the ball up real high. Right. But North Sydney Oval, they bring out the sawdust. Sawdust because of the cricket you pitch can't and all wet that. It, so the ball sort of sunk into the, into the pile, which I still... I reckon I blame a little bit because yeah. that didn't didn't help me. So anyway, I'll never forget the Norse players under the post, Florimo and all these, Gary Larson, all these blokes were into me. I was only a young kid wanting to kick, try the thing, and how, how easy is this? I've just got to slot this over. Now the kick, it's Sean Timmons, a left footer, he's missed it! Don't believe it! Sean Timmons has missed it from beside the uprights. It's a very With Wishart off the field, they went to a second choice kicker who couldn't have put in a worse kick if he tried. <laughs> oh, that'll do, man. Oh, you got to feel for him. He was 10 metres off the green and he's chipped right and over the green. One touchy with the flag up, <laughs> one down, up the top in the tower behind is Andrew Farrow, who's a cranky man at the best of times. I could see him. It looked like he wanted to kill me. And I'm just like, I didn't want to go off in the shed after the game, but... Anyway, we had three uh, we had three draws that day. Twenty ones, reserve grade and first grade. There was three draws, so I think I've made the history books for uh, for something. But my coach and players are still unhappy with me. St George Illawarra, um, there's instant success once the clubs merge and there's a grand final appearance. You're the centre for the St George Illawarra Dragons side. How do you look back on the 1999 grand final now? I mean, you know, famous moment, first at the new stadium, hundred thousand plus crowd but it's defeat in the most dramatic of circumstances. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a bizarre one, that one. Obviously, there's still parts of the day I can't remember, but I look back on it with, we'd had a good year. It was exciting to be able to be part of such a big day, as you said, such a crowd, but to uh, lose the way we did, obviously, I'd still never get over it. It's something that I'll sort of never forget. And as you get older, not getting a chance again to play in a grand final is something there you look back on and go with huge disappointment yeah. going, that could have been my only chance to win a comp. So to lose it and to lose it the way we did was, Still something that, yeah, I think about all the time now. I would love to win a grand final for the for the, for the the Dragons, but it wasn't to be, but at least I got to play in one, so... Well, that's the thing. 1999, you do make the grand final. 2005 is a season with the St George Illawarra Dragons where you're expected to make the grand final. It was meant to be Dragons Parramatta. Yeah. It didn't work out that way. Is that 
in hindsight, now that you're retired, is that an even bigger disappointment? Because you knew what you had that year? Yeah, probably, because we had a real good core of young players come through. Uh, like guys like Trent Barrett, Lance Thompson, Rolls, Bailey, Matty Cooper, Gaz, all these types of players, Nathan Blacklock. Um, so that was, we knew we had a chance there. And obviously, 05, we, were, uh, we finished for equal first with Paris. So we knew this was probably our time. And if we were going to win one, it was going to be then. But obviously, to go out against the Tigers in that semi at uh, the Sydney Footy Stadium was, was quite shattering. So yeah, to look back on that, probably more disappointment than the, the 99 one, at least we got there. I think the hardest game is what I've worked out over the years. The hardest game to win is that one getting into the grand yeah. final. It, it's been, I've been in it. A few times I was in at 05, 06, and just couldn't get a, couldn't get over that hurdle. But yeah, 05 was real disappointing considering the side we had, the uh, amount of rep players we had, and we we're all like young local, a lot of young local guys too. So that was uh, yeah, very disappointing that we didn't make the big, the, the grand final. Especially being a bit older then, like 20, yeah. uh, 99, I was a little bit younger. You might you think they might come around again, but obviously uh, they're pretty hard to get into. Sadly, uh, to talk about your career, it's impossible without talking about injuries. Yeah, knee injuries. Um, all right, answer this question. How many surgeries did you have on your knee knees during your career? Um, I had a, I've had 17 all up on 17. both. 17. So wow. throughout my career, I had uh, yeah, obviously had some dramas on both of them. Um, my last one was my worst, actually. I'd retired for a couple of years, and I had to go get a clean-up. Just a little arthroscope, but I ended up with an infection. Ended up in hospital for three weeks. This is after you finished playing? After I you finished, thought that I, was it. Yeah, I thought, thought it was all over. Yeah. So, Anyway, I've made a doctor, a sur uh, yeah, surgeon, Rich. He's, uh, yeah, I'll give him plenty of money, but I end up yeah. with 17. The knees aren't great, but mm. I'd do it all again if I could. The state of origin moment that will be replayed a million times. As much as Queensland love to see the miracle yeah. try scored by a mate of yours in Mark Coyne, New South Wales fans love watching the Sean Timmons field goal. The, only the second of your career, and you do it on the state of origin stage from almost the Queensland, almost the other half, your own <laughs> half, it's that far out. What do you remember about that night? Who was that? There was the lead up, I suppose. It was a, uh, yeah, as you said, 04, there was a fair few uh, halves out at the time. I was playing 5 8. Uh, we used to have them bonding sessions back then in the day, and there was a few dramas caused in the lead up to that. A few yep. players who I won't name didn't got uh, sent home and didn't play. So obviously the whole build up was, um, yeah, pretty different, but, and it was the first time they bought Golden Point in. So, yep. yeah, just come to, uh, come to the end of the game, I'd actually finished on the bench. And the great Gus Gould came to me and said, I want you on there for the, the uh, Golden Point, which gave me a lot of confidence to, for the coach to come up and say, I want you on for this. Yeah, okay. So I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose. It's Golden Point. I'll call for it and have a go. Because I was, when I was young, I used to play 5'8", and yeah. used to think I could kick. So this is solely your call. It wasn't Phil Gould said, go back on, kick me the field goal winner. And it wasn't someone on the field saying, Sean, take the shot. This is in your own head. You've said you've unhatched this this match-winning play, yeah, well, I'll said, take the shot. Gus said go back on, he didn't tell me to have a kick, he just wanted to be on there, so I, th I thought, I don't know. I see, as I said, Gowie had had a couple of shots and they were rushing up on him and he just didn't get to hit him real well, so I thought, well, I was playing 5-8 at the time, I might as well have a crack, there was nothing to lose, and it, yeah, I was surprised Bedsy threw me the ball, actually, when I passed it, I thought he might have been gone no, It was to you. still going up as it went <laughs> through. It's a massive kick, it's a, yeah, I remember it's it. a mighty field goal. I, I'll never forget, because the Blatchy Blues were behind the, um, yeah. and they were only just building then, there was a fair few of them, but uh, I remember it sailing over, and obviously it was a uh, yeah, pretty good moment in my career. My old pretty man, good. My old man missed it, he went to the toilet, he had too many, uh, <laughs> he had too many beers, so he went for a quick uh, we break, but come back and it was all over. So he missed it, but I'll show it him a few times. Sean, I promised to destroy the vision of the 97 kick at North Sydney Oval, <laughs> but thank you for coming on the fan. Thanks for having us. Sean Timmons.